हेलो फ्रेंड्स अरे सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई वी ऑल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर लाइक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट रिएक्ट 18 एंड आई होप यू आर एंजॉयिंग दैट ऑल स्टफ व्हिच वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट रिएक्ट 18 एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव जस्ट लर्न अबाउट रिएक्ट एनिमेशन इन रिएक्ट 18 एंड आई होप यू एंजॉय दैट एंड बिफोर दैट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट रिएक्ट ट्रांजिशन एज़ वेल एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड एंजॉय दैट वीडियो एज़ वेल सो टुडे वी आर आल्सो लर्निंग अ new thing in react 18 and i hope you'll be enjoying today's video as well because it will be also giving you help so in this video we'll be learning about a different tag using react 18 and this uh, video will be really different for you as well like previous one was and in this video also we'll be styling the text and making it more good looking or you can say styling an object so i'll be telling you how we are styling and what new thing we'll be including in this project to make our uh object or our text more beautiful so this video will be really helpful remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and after subscribing hit notification bell as well so you can just see my all the coming up videos because that will also give you help moving forward like in the previous videos we have learned about react transition react animation and we have also covered up many of the other things as well using react editing from start to end so today we are also learning about the thing like previously on we have learned about react transition and react animation so today we are also learning the thing similar to that but it will be not not really similar to that all stuff it will be not too much different as well so today we are learning about uh, react buttons and i'll be telling you how to just take a button effect on uh, on an object here so this video will be really helpful and i hope you'll be understanding this so just now we'll be starting with our video and seeing what is this react buttons and how to use it from start to end in react 18 So, so just like I've telling you, we'll be just working with React 18, and in this video, I'll be telling you, like I've just telling you, we're starting about React hours. So, like previously, on we have learned about React animation and React transition as well. So, in this video, I will be telling you what is React hours and how to use this hour in React. So, for using this uh, hour in React 18, you have to open your VS Code. We have used this React hour previously on when we were using React JS, but we have not used when we are using React 18. So I'll be telling you now when we are using React 18. So how to use this React hour? So for using this, you have to go to File. We have to press Open folder. Then our folder is in Local Disk E here. You can see this was the folder from which we were working App One folder. So I'll be directly opening this folder. And in the starting and in the first video of React 18, I have telling you how to create this folder. You can check that out. And I have also set up these all stuff. So here, this is our main app.js file, and this is also app.css file from which we are working. So these will, these both files are the main files from which we are we are working here. So I'll be raising all this stuff. Just this font family should be here because we will be needing it. Now I will be running it here by writing npm start, which is the command to run our React 18 app. Now this is the work of previous video in which we have learned about React animation. So I will be not needing these all stuff. So I'll be raising this stuff as well. so we will be only leading uh, this file which is already imported in our app.js file because we will be uh, doing work with this file here app.css one here we are getting only the url of our font which we will be using which is called roboto condensed so we will be using that font here and then we are getting this file i will be saving it so now your all work has been saved which you have written and your front end work which you have done previously on will be not showing here but if you have not do these all things so you will be not getting this so now it will be starting our development server on our default microsoft edge browser you can see it is starting the development server and it has been just started so i'll be doing it side by side now it will be compiling my all the work here and showing me the front end page which should be totally empty because i have erased all the things from here now it should be compiling all the stuff from my terminal and there it will be showing the interface on this page here on localhost 3000 we are working with so you will be also getting your own so you can see now it is saying compiled successfully nothing is showing here means that it is working so we are getting the title and now we have to change the title as well so i'll be moving to public folder and i'll be moving to this file and here you have to just change the title to react hour because we are now using react hour previously on we have used react hour uh previously on we have used react hour and react js only and we have used react animation plus react transition in react 18 so now we are also learning about react hour as well so for getting the react hour you have to first of all move in this div and you have to create a simple thing which you want to create so if i just want to create a button so i will be creating only a button and here i will be just now in this button i will be just writing the name means the button uh here i will be writing the text which i want in my button so i'll be writing the text of like uh hover me like this save this 
here you can see we are getting one button which is saying how are we now we have to style this button so i'll be moving to my app.js app.css file because in app.js we have created a button which is saying how are we so now you have to move to app.css here you have to now just see here we have just uh, written the class name of app so i will be writing dot app and then in dot app i will be writing this thing you can see this a is capital so we have to also take this a to capital now when you've written this dot app here i will be writing padding 200 pixel and then at the top i will be writing here text align center so you will be seeing that it should be in center and our uh, we will be getting padding top from 200 you can see this now you can take it more down if you want to take it so it will be just having some space from here as well you can see so here you can do one thing i will be just giving it the padding top like this save it so then you will be getting the padding top so it will be giving the space from the top here so you can see it is giving the space from the top as well if i show you like this now when you style this just you can just give the hipex on your button so i will be now giving the letter spacing on my button so it should be aligned with the 2 pixel then i will be writing the padding which should be 15 pixel save it so we are getting the padding here on our button and we are also getting letter spacing on our button so you can increase the width of your button as well like you can do it 100 pixel save it so you can see we are just getting the width of 100 pixel you can increase it as well like 300 if you want to do or here if i write 200 so i think that it should be too much like this if i do so you can see now we are just getting this hover me written you can increase the font size as well if you want to increase it so i will be writing here font size which should be like 35 pixels save it you can see the font has increased too much 15 so i think that now it is good here we are getting a simple button here so when you are getting you can give some border radius in this button as well so you can make it more good looking like if i write a six pixel save it so we are getting a border radius of six pixel on our button now when you are getting all this thing so here i will be now just giving it the uh, border uh, and then you can just take the border to any color you want to but here i will be just doing the border to white so here i will be writing border white and the background should be black so here i will be writing and the color should be white means the text color save it so you can see border will be white here and our text should also be changed into white you can see which is looking good so when you are getting all this stuff here you can now do one thing if i should change the background here so i can just see my colors as well so here i will be now moving in this tag then i will be now writing here background and in background i will be writing crimson save it so background is changed into crimson and now we are getting this so here i will be now changing this crimson and here i will be now giving any gradient color so for doing gradient color you have to move here and after moving to google you have to just write here uh, like here i will be now opening any gradient color so i'll be writing best gradient color combinations like this so here i will be moving you can see it is saying this is good so i will be copying this gradient color here and i will be giving it on the background so i'll be writing here background and then you have to now just write here uh, here you have to now just write background color and then here i will be now just write linear gradient and in linear gradient you have to just write here rgba in rgba i will be writing this then here i will be now doing one thing i will be giving comma from here you have to press backspace and then i will be writing here two top so here you have to write two top or you can just write the spacing here from where you want the spacing so here i will be writing two top save it so you will be seeing that we will be getting it save here from as well so here i will be raising this then you have to save and then you will be getting the spacing from here so here i will be now writing from bottom or you can say to bottom and then you will be getting the color effect so here i will be now writing uh, gradient color so if i move here i will write gradient color code then when you will be moving here so you will be getting many of the gradient colors here you can see here we are getting so you can just take this gradient color and then you can just use this save it you can see we are getting a gradient color here but i only want this gradient color should be like this not from bottom it should be coming so here i will be now writing comma here and then you have to save it and after saving you will be seeing that we are getting this gradient from here means to bottom so you can take it to two top 
so you will be getting it from the top you can see we are getting now it from the top so we are getting our button here the style which is looking awesome so now here i will be doing one thing i will be raising this effect here save it so you can see we are just now not getting here because we have just not written this so now we are getting a gradient color and we are getting our button here so when you are getting the button here i will be now writing one pick solid white save it so we are getting the one pick solid white effect here or you can just erase this border and i will be writing here border should be none so i will be writing it here now i will be giving the hover effect means the main thing which we are learning in this video which is called button hover now i will be giving the hover here then i will be writing the background should be transparent when i hover on my button and here color should be changed into black means the text color and here i will should be just now getting the transition this should be 0.9s save this now reload and you can see when i am hovering on this so we are getting a beautiful hover effect but i also want one thing i want that border should be one pick solid white so we can just see the border effect as well so you can see when i am hovering on my button so we are just getting a beautiful hover effect on our button of transparent background and we are also getting the white border at the right you can see here we are getting the border which is looking awesome now here i will be doing one thing i will be writing here cursor pointer so we are we will be now getting our cursor is pointer you can see which is looking good so this was our project here of hover and i hope you understand what is react hover in react 18 if you have understand this video enjoy this so hit a like and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and also share this video so more people can learn they can take benefit of these amazing things hit notification bell as well so you can just see my all the coming up videos as well because that will also giving you help moving forward so just i'll be bringing more videos like that in future and i hope you understanding that also so just i will be meet you next project so far today good bye